Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to carry out serial mediation in SPSS MS. Serial mediation is a statistical concept within the framework of structural equation modeling that examines the process through which one variable influences another variable indirectly sequentially through a series of intermediate variables. X is affecting Y directly. X is affecting Y through M2. So X affecting M2, M2 affecting Y. X is also affecting Y through the mediator M1. So X affects M1, M1 affects Y. Still there is one more part. X affects M1, M1 affects M2, M2 affects Y. This is known as a serial mediation. To test the effect of mediation, we have to create estimates in SMOS where we can specify the indirect effects as the product of regression bits. The significance and the strength of the indirect effect can be statistically tested by examining the confidence interval obtained through bootstrapping. Now, let us go in the MS. We will import the imputed file. And we'll be working on the latent variable scores generated through impute the generated through data imputation. How to work on imputed imputed scores? I've already uploaded my video. Kindly refer to it. So I will bring the imputed data file from here, which is uh, denoted by underscore C which we had seen in the previous video. Open, click OK. Now activate this one. It will give me the latent variable scores of all the constructs. So I'll pick up the environmental perception of an employee, staying intention of an employee in the company. So these are the latent variable scores. If you uh, if you recall my previous video, environmental perception was measured with the help of four statements, EP1, EP2, EP3, and EP4. So instead of, instead of working on the construct with the measured variable, when we impute the data, we get the single score. So working on imputed score makes the model simple. That's the reason we are working on imputed score. I'll pick up the organizational commitment from here. Job satisfaction from here. Let us pick up one truck. Now, environmental perception of an employee affects the staying intention of an employee directly. Environmental perception of an employee affects the organizational commitment of an employee, which in turn affects the staying intention. Environmental perception of an employee affects the job satisfaction and the job satisfaction affects the staying intention. Environmental perception of an employee affects the organizational commitment. Organizational commitment affects the job satisfaction and the job satisfaction affects the staying intention of an employee. Pick up the magic wand. One, two, three, four. This will make the diagram clean. Now, let's try to understand the concept of exogenous. Here, this is an exogenous variable as all the arrows are moving out. This becomes endo as one of the arrows is moving inside it. This is also endo as two arrows are moving inside it. And this is also endo. So whenever any variable is endogenous, we will have to place a error term on it. One, two, three. We will have to name this error term. So we will go in the plugins, name unobserved variables. Now we will create the estimates. So for this, we will have to define the paths. So double click on it. Give the name of this path as A. Give the name of this path, this path as B. Give the name of this path as C, which is a direct path, C. C is a direct path. Give the name of this path as B this part. Give the name of this part as G. 
don't use e because e is a system parameter and therefore it will not allow you to use e so don't use e pick up f now uh, more parameter values so here there is a confusion that this this b is for the, which arrow so you can move this parameter to bring more clarity in the model now we will have to define the estimates so for this purpose we will go here define the new estimates and i will write down a syntax here Let's say my indirect effect 1 is equal to A into B. You can see here A into B. Indirect effect 2 is equal to D into F. D into F. My indirect effect 3 is equal to a into G into F. This part. A, G, F. A, G, F. So, my total indirect effect is PI. PI, I is the summation of indirect effect 1 plus indirect effect 2 plus indirect effect 3. And my total effect is Uh, the total effect is the summation of total indirect effect plus the direct effect which is represented by C. Now click here and check the syntax. When you get the message syntax is okay, you are done. Now when you will place the, press the close button, it will ask that you want to uh, save this estimates, you will say yes. Now you will give the name to this. Let's say we are giving the name serial mediation. Serial mediation. Save. Now click on this analysis property. Go in output. This two should be on. Indirect, direct, and total effects should be on. In, in bootstrapping, pop up bootstrapping, make this 5000 and activate the bias corrected confidence interval. And now run the model. View the text. You can see here in estimates, in matrices, we are having total effects. So the total effect of environmental perception on non-staying intention is 0 0.459. Right? 0 0.459. Now when you will click on the direct effects, it is 0 0.295. That is environmental effect on staying intention. The direct effect is 0.295. The indirect effect coming through all different mediators, all different mediators, that is environmental perception affecting staying intention through the mediation is 0 0.164, 164. Now we don't know that this 0.164 comprises of uh, comprises of how many mediators? That is, the sum, this 0 0.164 is the summation of I1 plus I2 plus I3. And therefore, which effects are significant, which are not, we don't know. So, if you see the total effect, it is 0 0.459. The direct effect is 0 0.295. And if you take the summation of direct with indirect, so 0 0.295 plus 0 0.164, you will get the total effects. Now, we want to see that is this, are these effects significant or not. So, we'll click on scalars. You'll click on user-defined estimates. So, the indirect effect is the first indirect effect i1 is 0 0.153 i2 is 0 0.009 i3 is 0 0.002 and the total effect which is a summation of all this is 0 0.164 the total effect the total this is total indirect effect which is a summation of 1 2 3 and the total effect is total indirect effect plus c now are these effects significant or not for this purpose will activate the bootstrap uh, confidence and click on the bias corrected percentile matter. So you can see here uh, in the first IE1, the lower bound is positive. 
and the upper bound is also positive. It means that positive to positive. Moreover, p value is less than 0.05. It means that the first indirect effect is significant. Let's talk about the second one. This is moving from positive to positive and the p value is on the border line, but still we can say that the indirect effect 2 is significant. Let's talk about the indirect effect 3. This is uh, nearer to 0. So still we will say it is on the border line and it is having 0 in, in it and the p value is more than 0 0.05. Therefore, the, this indirect effect becomes insignificant. To make you understand, this the, that particular table has been copied on the word file. So when the lower bound is positive and the upper bound is positive, we will say that the effect is significant. When the lower bound is negative and the upper bound is also negative, we will say that the effect is significant. It's not this. Now, let's talk about the another possibility. The lower bound is positive and the upper bound is negative. In this case, your indirect effect becomes insignificant. There can be still one more scenario that your lower bound is negative and the upper bound is positive. In that scenario also, your indirect effect is insignificant. We'll stop this and do automatic units. Now the same output, that is the output of the canvas, I have just copied on the PPT. Let's try to understand. The user defined estimates generates the unstandardized estimates. So I1, which is A into B, this into this is generated here, this one is an indirect effect of environmental perception on staying intention through organizational commitment. So 0.84 into 0.18, you will get the figure 0.153. Indirect effect, uh, i.e. 2, it is D into F. So it is 0.16 into 0 0.05, which is 0 0.009. So the indirect effect is that, in, uh, sorry, I2 is the indirect effect of environmental perception on staying intention through job satisfaction. Now let's talk about the third indirect effect. 0 0.84 into 0 0.05 into 0 0.05 which will give me the figure 0 0.0002, 0 0.002. So the indirect effect of environmental perception on staying intention through organizational commitment and job satisfaction is the indirect effect 3. The total effect of environmental perception is the summation of the direct effect which is 0.29 this figure plus 0.164 how did i got this figure it is the summation of 1 2 and 3 which you can see which will you, you can see here it is 0.164 now we are having a plugin also so you should go on this website stat wiki designation developed by Professor James Gaskin. Click on the plugins folder. Depending on your version of MS, you have to click on it and download the indirect effect plugin. I will click on it. Download. It will give you a warning message. No need to worry. Just press keep. After this is done, you will go in the download sections. Right click on this .dll file, go in the properties and unblock it. Apply. Click OK. Now copy this file to the path which I am specifying. See. Users. It is uh, quite likely possible that Instead of this admin, your name must be there. So click on admin. Now you go in the app data. You go in local, MS development, MS. 
your version of MS. Now click on plugins and paste that indirect effects here. Once this is done, this plugin is uh, ready to work. So we'll go in the MS and we'll go in plugins. We'll click on indirect effects. So it will give you the this type of output. This will be uh, in HTML. The indirect uh, path is specified that is environmental perception affecting organizational commitment, organizational commitment affecting the job satisfaction. The unstandardized estimate is there. So this is known as a specific indirect path. Environmental perception affecting the organizational commitment, organizational commitment affecting the job satisfaction, job satisfaction affecting the staying intention of an employer. So you can see here positive to positive. We are having positive to positive, but the p-value is uh, more than 0 0.05 and therefore this path is insignificant though this is positive to positive but the p-value is more than 0 0.05 let's talk about this one uh, environmental perception to organizational commitment organizational commitment to job satisfaction job satisfaction to staying intention this is this includes zero in it and the p-value is also more than 0 0.05 and therefore this path is also insignificant now let's talk about this path Environmental perception affecting the organizational commitment, organizational commitment affecting the staying intention. Positive to positive, p-value less than 0 0.05. So this path is significant. Environmental perception affecting job satisfaction, job satisfaction affecting staying intention. The p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore this path is significant. This p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore this path is insignificant as this is less than 0 0.05 significant less than 0 0.05 significant more than 0 0.05 insignificant more than 0 0.05 insignificant so this is a way you can carry out serial mediation in spss ms for more videos on spss ms kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i already uploaded many videos on spss ms